Hey guys, this is Insu and I'm here to show you my new editor plugin which I'm going to be releasing as a free and premium plugin. Uh, let's just jump right into it. When you do slash editor, it brings up the editor GUI. So we've got three options. We can exit, start editing and preferences. So we'll, we'll just jump into preferences first. Here you can choose to sort by name or sort by type in your file manager. Here you can choose to show or not show hidden files and this is how many lines they're going to print every time you're editing a file. I'll get onto those a bit more later, but for now you can know that they're there. So let's hit start editing. First of all we just need to confirm a few things just as a bit of a disclaimer. So first, you will not see incoming chat messages and you'll not be able to chat. So editors used a, a lot in the um, text of Minecraft, so uh, when you're editing a file and when you're in the editor GUI it won't, you won't see chat messages coming in, you won't see any kind of message, so uh, yeah, just confirm that, so you won't be able to see anything while you're editing. Plugins may stop working and will most likely not refresh configs automatically, so plugins may stop working if you do things, for example, like delete their jar, or mess with their file structure, so disclaimer, you know, uh, plugins might stop working if you do this, and if you edit the plugins config, you'll probably have to do some sort of reload of either the plugin or maybe even the whole server or you might even have to restart the server for it to update the config. So just because you edit it in here doesn't mean it's going to change it in the actual plugin. Confirm. Files may be corrupted. This may happen when you edit a file while something else edits it at the same time. So this can actually happen if you're editing a config while someone else or the plugin itself is editing the config and you both try and save it sometimes changes can be lost so one might overwrite the other or sometimes the actual file might even corrupt so it's pretty unlikely but it can happen so that's why you're here to confirm it and it is highly recommended to run at the highest resolution possible and have your text width set to 320 pixels so this is just again uh, since a lot of it's based in the chat down here you want to fit as much as you can onto a single line so you set your text settings to 320 pixels and as high resolution as possible so you can fit as much text on there as possible and we confirm that once we confirm everything we'll get into the actual editor I uh, right now it's uh, sorted in alphabetical order regardless of folders or files I normally sort by type so folders in alphabetical followed by files in alphabetical, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to sort of show you around the GUI itself. So let's just go, jump to this folder, and we'll see we have two files, messages.yml and text.txt. So you've got a few options. First of all, you can click to edit the file. Actually, let's go into something a bit more. Here, uh, we're going to the hmm, world edit here. So we've got our config.yml here. So it's a file. The type is a file. So it could be a file or a folder. See, this one's a folder. This one's a file. The extension is YML. So it's a YAML file. Um, its size is 1.8 kilobytes. It was created on the 9th of January 2016 at 11.59 p.m. and 32 seconds. And it was last modified at the time it was created. So if we actually left click this, we'll be brought into the GUI here. And my scroll is very sensitive. So here we have well did its configuration file. About editing this file, yada yada yada. And this is all just commented out because you see it starts with hashtags or hashes. Um, so let's say we wanted to change uh, this max radius line. All we have to do is just click it and we want to change, let's say we want to change this right here to instead of uh, negative 1 we'll make it to 10 for example we just change that to 10, hit enter and you can see when we scroll up this is the line that we just edited max radius was changed to 10 now let's say we didn't actually want to do that we can just go through and click undo and as you can see it's back to negative 1 we can redo it, undo it, redo it, undo it, redo it you know and it'll just stay how we want it I actually don't want to change that so I'm just going to leave it at undo um, so you can see that it uh, ends at line 50, so right here we've got all the line numbers. So it ends at 50, but the config itself is longer than 50 lines. So what we do is we hit scroll down, 
the config is actually a total of 73 lines, so it'll show us from 51 to 73. And we can scroll up, and we're back here, and we can scroll back down. Um, so if we wanted to say, add a new line at the end here, we just have to click, or let's say we wanted to add a new line in between these two, you just click the line above it, and you can see we make a new line. You want to undo it, just click there. You want to redo it, and you click there. Pretty easy, right? So let's say we wanted to add in a new thing here that says, um, this is a test line. We just added this. Like this, you can see that the line just pops in straight there. Now, I'm not actually going to show you this because I don't want to get out of the Minecraft interface right now but that would have edited the actual file itself instantly. So if we went into World Edit's config in a, uh, for example, Sublime Text or something, you would see that it had changed straight away. So we'll just get rid of that because we don't want it there. And we can return to the file manager. So you can see that it was, you know, just, uh, I think that's, yeah, that is the date. And it was um, edited. It will say created now because the way Java works, you have to remake the file to edit it, but you can see that it was just edited. So uh, let's move on to, oh we can, we'll move on to renaming it. If I wanted to rename the file, I can just right click it. I didn't right click it because I'm on a Mac and right clicking is difficult. Right click, there we go. Um, you can rename the file's name. So let's say we wanted to change it to config rename.txt for example. Uh, change the file extension, change the name, then we hit that, we can see that it succeeded, and if we go back to our file manager, we can see it renamed to that. And if you went into Finder or something, you'd see it renamed it too. Uh, I'm going to change that back to config.yml now, and save that. All good. Uh, so now folders. You can also rename folders, um, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, but you can see some folders are minecarts with chests inside them and some are just empty minecarts. That basically just means if it's a minecart with a chest in it, it means that there's something inside that folder and if there's nothing inside it, it means there's nothing inside that folder. So pretty easy to understand. Um, folders actually do not have, um, well obviously they don't have extensions because they're a folder, but they also don't have size because when you go start calculating the size of folders that are very like large, for example, if we go all the way back up, you know, to just slash up the top there, um, it can take quite a while and that creates a lot of lag. So for now, there's no way to actually see the size of folders. Um, so let's get into a couple of these tools. So the first one is just says the title tools. And if you click it, it'll also take you back to slash plugins. So if I go up a bunch of directories, for example, and I'm all the way up here, for example, in users into, um, I can hit this tools thing and it'll take me back to my plugins folder. Pretty handy. This will refresh. Uh, so first of all, it shows you your location, your breadcrumb. And if you click it, it'll refresh the current directory. So if you add a new file in um, that directory, in like Finder or something, it's not going to pop up straight away here, but if you refresh it, it'll show it. This is just jumping up one folder, so we're in World Edit and we go up and it's in Plugins and we go up and it's in the my test server, test environment, and so it's just the opposite of going into a folder, it's going up one folder. Um, next we have Create New Folder. So this, we can just create a new folder, let's say we call it Test Folder, and it creates a new folder called test folder. Uh, ignore that little chat thing down the bottom there, that's just a bit of debug and all the debug will be removed. Um, so we've made this test folder and it's empty right now. Uh, you can also see if we create a new folder and we'll call it test1 and add a slash. If you're in Windows it'll probably be like this, but on, I'm on uh, Mac so it's uh, like this. Test2, test3, like this. You can see that it will create uh, test1 with a folder called test2 with a folder called test3 all inside each other. So pretty neat. Uh, next thing we have is create new file. So if we want to create a new file we can go uh, test. If we don't give it any extension it'll default to txt. So then we can just start editing that file. 
and say this is a new file, I can't spell file, add some more lines to it, delete some lines, you know, whatever you want. Um, and we can, yeah, so we can make new files, we could also make, for example, a new file called asd.yaml, and make a new yaml file, and it makes it there. So now we've got a bunch of, you know, files and folders cluttering up our view and we want to get rid of them. So the next tool is delete. So when you click this, it turns on your delete mode. You can see this goes red, it says delete mode enabled. And you can go through and click to delete um, a folder or a file. So we want to delete the folder test1, which has test2 and test3 inside it. And I'll say, are you sure you want to delete it and all its contents? Click to confirm and it deletes it. And we'll just go through and delete test folder. We'll delete um, asd.yml and we'll delete test.txt. The next um, tool is an option to sort by type or sort by name. So if we click this, it'll change it so it sorts in alphabetically only. Um, and if we choose this, it'll sort by folder alphabetically and then file alphabetically. Um, this is an option to see hidden files and folders. So if we click this, we'll see uh, hidden files and folders. You can see we have .ds underscore store, which is a um, Mac. I'm not sure if it's a Linux thing, but at least it's a Mac. And um, it has, so it's a hidden file, which you can see in the type. And you can see it's also um, a yellow sort of piece of paper. So you can tell that that's a hidden file there. Uh, if we wanted, we could edit this as well, but you can see this is, you know, a lot of mumbo jumbo, and we're going to have a bit of difficulty editing that one. Um, so we'll just disable hidden files for now. And there's this stop editing button just to take you back. You can also do the same by pressing escape. So we'll just leave that for now. Uh, let's just go back inside world edit. There's this, uh, I th this will be the final feature, which is copy mode. So if we click this, we activate copy mode. Um, and you'll see if we click this, it'll copy it to our clipboard. So on our clipboard now, you can see that it has config.yml. We can left click this and we'll exit the copy mode completely. Um, if we right click it, it'll clear the clipboard. And if we scroll click it, it'll remove the bottom thing in our clipboard. But I can't really scroll, scroll click right now because I'm on a Mac and trackpads are not cool. Um, so once we've added a couple of things to our clipboard, for example, so we've got config.yml and sessions, we can click to paste the clipboard and the contents will be pasted to weld edit. And when we paste it, you can see we've made config1 and sessions1. Um, and since you can't make them sessions in config because those files already exist. Uh, it also works if we, for example, wanted to go and copy let's say we wanted to copy the world guard folder so we left click it's in our clipboard then we want to copy it into the world edit folder we right click it to enter the folder and then we click paste here and you can see that it pasted the whole folder inside and it has all that stuff in there all the worlds and you know well not the worlds but the um, regions for the worlds and such and we can just delete that folder um, so back to the preferences here, um, it will save whether or not the server restarts, reloads, whatever, it will save whether you wanted to sort by type or name, or you wanted to see hidden files or not, so you don't have to change it every time you open up the editor, you just change it and it saves it for you, and the amount of lines printed, so when we were editing a file down here, um, you could see that the uh, it printed 50 lines as a maximum before you had to scroll. You can left click this to change it so there's more lines or you can right click it to increase it by 10. Uh, the default's at 50 but if you're, for example, if you want to fit more lines there um, then you can increase the amount of lines. Keep in mind this isn't lines in um, how many lines of chat it takes up it's the line, how many lines of um, file it prints out. So a single line of file could be, for example, three Minecraft chat lines if it's a really long line in the file. So um, the default's at 50. If you're not getting the whole of a file, you can just tune this down a lot. Or if you're feeling risky and you want to put more lines in your um, 
uh, print more lines per scroll, then you can increase that. But that's really up to you. It defaults at 50 and that's what I like to leave it at. Um, yeah, so that's that, that was the premium version of um, Editor. So this was originally just going to be a premium plugin, but I've decided to also release a free version alongside it. Now the free version contains most of the functionality of the um, uh, the free version contains most of the functionality of the premium version, but it's missing a few things and has a couple of advertisements in it. Just so you know, it's an incentive to buy the pre the premium version. You know, support me and support the plugin. So I'm just going to switch over to the uh, free version quickly and show you what that looks like. So we'll go uh, delete alien slash plugins. Yep, delete editor and copy over editor free. Um, that didn't copy in the right thing. Copy into plugins. Um, or I could just move it. That will work too. Alright, so now we just want to reload. Alright, and we've got editor free loaded onto the server now. So you'll see when we do slash editor, um, we'll open it up. Uh, preferences aren't saved on um, when you exit editor or when you reload server, restart server. Or actually, no, it is saved when you close editor. Um, but if you reload or restart, it'll reset your preferences. And there's no way to actually change the amount of lines that are printed. It'll always print 50. There's just a little bit of an advertisement here that says, Upgrade to premium. You must upgrade to premium to do this. Please consider doing so to support the effort put into this plugin. Um, and it also says, Made with love by Insu and Coldfire. And there's our links. This is my skull. That's Coldfire's. And if you click it, you get our links down here so you can look at our profiles. Um, and so if you start editing, it has this uh, advert, advert again and you just have to wait five seconds and then you can proceed straight into the familiar GUI we were using before. So as I said, there are a couple of limitations. So um, you can't, if you right click to rename, you're not actually able to rename files. Uh, copy mode, you're not allowed to copy things. Um, that might be it though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So if you still want to create a new file, that would work fine. And yeah, stuff like that. So, you know, it's pretty fair. You're getting a free plugin that, you know, it works like a file manager. You can edit all your files and everything. But um, yeah, it's it would be great if you could also purchase the premium plugin to go along with that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my overview of my editor plugin. Uh, make sure to also check out Coldfire. I would not have been able to make the plugin as awesome as it is without his help. And yeah, also feel free to check out my speaker page. Both of them are in the editor plugin. All right, thanks very much, guys, for watching, and have a good day.